Some updates, folks. The deep water culture beds are holding water. The liners are in. We are busy doing the system cycle. The big bed still needs to, to fill up a bit. I went ahead and plumbed up all the water supplies to all of the one, two, three, four, five at the back and six, all six uh, grow beds have now their own independent uh, water supply that can be regulated this one is turned off at the moment and you could say if we added the polystyrene sheets we would be growing right now here's a bit of a different type of bed it's slightly deeper a 1.5 by, come on, 1.5 by 4 meters, a 3 meter by 9 meter, 16 by 3 meters, and then that one down there is 4 meters by 8.5. The one at the back there is 7 meters by 1.5. I have yet to complete the filtration and the biofiltration station also needs to be completed the aeration is currently switched off all our water supplies are also regulated with ball valves four and a half thousand liter fish tank that drains through a solids lifting overflow and then this serves as a, a solid settlement and a little bit of a particle filter drains into the 110 mole each fish tank has its own initial filter this I still need to turn into the filter and I still need to add in another one over here. Each bank of three fish tanks run through their own filter like this and then all three of them run through one IBC. So there's two IBCs for the six fish tanks. I did add in the new air stones and they work just fine. I went and tidied up the, the plumbing a bit, cable tied everything down just so it's a little bit tidier and not all over the place. The net is also up. I now need to put the lids on the, the fish tanks. And then all of this drains down to the sump. None of this grows, uh, drains one bed into a next bed. It all drains out directly into the sump tank over here 
the 110 mm pipe and then this pipe is like a excess pressure valve hole valve that I can open and close to increase and decrease the pressure at my outlets um, all of this is powered by Forty thousand liter per hour pump, and it draws up some water as well and runs it through the two sand filters that just filter back into the sump tank. When I backwash, the sand filters are all backwash them into these two. IBC tanks that will be filled with K1 um, and these will be my mineralization tanks also all of the sludge from the top uh, filters will be pumped down to these two tanks as well and then we will skim off the clean water back to the sump just to recycle or just to make sure we get all of those uh, nutrients and the bacteria established all in all we are making some great progress and we are just about there uh, a few key things still need to be done but um, most of the heavy lifting is now finished and a bit of tweaking now um, to get our first seedling started and then let's take it on to the next one.